All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the retention shooting, just like we mentioned before. Uh, there are different variations of this taught in different places. Uh, we'll show you why we do what we do here. Uh, not only is there a retention position, but there's this flex uh, extreme angle and other things like that that you would be getting if you came to a course. Um, but if I'm within this close personal distance, it's not a good thing for me to just go to my gun without doing some sort of distraction to them first. So this first one I'm going to do, whether it be a face smash or maybe an elbow up to them, while I'm doing it at the same time I'm clearing to my gun from there, I'm just going to pull it up into a retention position. Notice that I have my thumb flagged. I'm pushing it into the, my rib cage. It's helping me complete the other side of my grip. Making sure when you're first starting to do this, you're checking your muzzle target line, making sure nothing is in it, arms, coats, whatever. And remember, as soon as I start to shoot this, there's going to be a muzzle blast because we are this close. It's something that you will feel but need to get over. So we'll put a couple of rounds into it. And then from there, I wouldn't stay here. I'd start to back up present out, stand for other threats and everything like that. All right guys, what I'm gonna do on this one, if I ended up in this situation, hopefully you saw the prints and indicators and everything before that, didn't end up here. But if you're asleep at the wheel or whatever and you did, first thing I'm gonna do is come in here, come to a retention position, do my shoot and boom, boom. Then I'm gonna to need to drop my hand down out of muzzle line and do a modified like speed rock back into him, do a point shoot, boom, boom. And then I'm continuing to egress as I'm pushing out onto him to full extension. All right guys, now that we talked through it and you kind of got a concept, let's go ahead and do it full speed. All right guys, one of the biggest misconceptions is everybody thinks you have to have this certain pattern of shot groups. Reality is in a situation like that up tight, I need to get rounds on target somewhere, create space, then I can go ahead and do what I need to, whether it be stay in the fight or break and run. Uh, if you have any comments, please comment. 